Yo, my peoples, what's up? Welcome to Shelf Stories, the channel that talks about... Yo, my peoples, what's up? Welcome back to Shelf Stories, the channel that tells tales of games, books, and life. I'm your host, Jason. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. Uh, this is the first of a series of episodes that I'm going to do called Shelf Help. Uh, we are gamers, this is a gaming channel, but, you know, I, I think we're human beings too, and we can all use a little bit of help every once in a while. Uh, not only the episode will be on location, most of it will be in my basement, but I'm here right now. Uh, I don't want it to just, I got inspired, I don't want to film an episode. So, um, very quickly, where am I? I'm on the Brooklyn Bridge. On the Brooklyn Bridge, I'm on the span uh, between... Uh, the you know the left, eastbound and leftbound lanes is a walking place you can ride your uh, take a stroller ride your bike all that kind of thing I love it here this is absolutely my happiest place in the world I'm a happy guy and I absolutely use happy place visualization in order to help me keep my mental health going um, so I want to talk a little bit about that I want to talk a little bit about how to use quote unquote happy place visualization because you hear that a lot right go to your happy place when you're anxious when you're not feeling so great well um, it doesn't work all the time, does it? In fact, uh, for some people, it doesn't work at all. Because, you know, that we do it wrong. And I think that there's a lot of bad information about how to do that particular intervention. And I'd like to take this chance to, you know, set the record straight a little bit and give you some tips and tricks on how to make this particular technique work for you. Um, but first of all, let me introduce you to my happy place because I just, I love it here. Um, so like I said, I'm on the span uh, and I'm gonna try to turn it around. Here we go, I'm turning the camera around. Uh, I am, I mean, they don't make them like this. They don't make them like they used to. I mean, I just, uh, you know, this is over a hundred and some odd years old bridge. Uh, they make it more like that. <laughs> Nowadays, that's the Manhattan Bridge and there's some more metal bridges up there. Um, they're perfectly fine, perfectly functional, beautiful in its own way. But, you know, this is my jam over here. So um, you are looking at the New York skyline. I'm gonna just do a panorama sweep uh, just to give you a really brief idea of what you're looking at, Midtown Manhattan and Empire State Building. Uh, this is Lower Manhattan, uh, resident for me because I used to work here. As a matter of fact, I used to work in the old Twin Towers that used to be right there where the Freedom Tower is. I used to work in the 80th floor. That came down, you know, pretty emotional for me. But it's nice that there is something there again. Uh, and it, uh, the, the skyline feels old again, which makes me feel really good. Um, turning it around New York Harbor. Uh, New York Harbor, you can't really see it. I can't zoom. I'm on my phone. Um, it's a little bit of thing with the recording, but take my word for it. It's awesome. It's beautiful. There's a Statue of Liberty a little bit further down. Um, if you can see the Verrazano Bridge, go ahead and zoom in on your YouTube. Uh, take my word for it. There's a bridge there, and that's kind of near where I grew up. This is home. Um, and some, I'll talk about this in a little bit, happy place visualization. The best stuff is when you can get that sense of home or some kind of emotional sense. Um, last thing I wanted to share with you before I get onto that is my lady over here oh she is my lady uh please everybody meet serena serena meet everybody this is my bicycle i i don't care i mean even if i can't access the brooklyn bridge in my thinking uh anytime i'm on my bicycle anytime i can ride ride free um, i'm in the woods i'm in the city uh, i'm on a trail I, I love riding my bicycle as you can see with my my, uh, my guy right over there um, okay, so um, how can we make happy, happy Place Visualization work for you? Uh, some principles. Uh, the first one is specificity. Um, specificity creates emotions. We want to fight fire with fire when it comes to this, um, when it comes to calming anxiety. So it's emotional reaction. So we want to create emotional residence to kind of deal with it. We're not just trying to escape it, you know. That's the big thing that people think about happy place visualization. It's an escape. Not really. It's, it's really an attempt to call up a counter emotion to the negative emotions that you're feeling. So specificity, detail. Um, detail, you know, ask any storyteller. This is a storytelling channel. Uh, the resonance is in the details. The realization, the immersion is in the details. So you want to call up something that has emotional resonance for you. Uh, you know, for me, it's this bridge. For you, it could be a beach. It could be um, a vacation that you took somewhere, a place. Uh, you know, you, you traveled uh, internationally. You, there's a place out there for you. That's for you. That's your happy place. Um, start there. So that's number one. Number two, try to introduce as much um, tactile as possible, sensory as possible. That goes with the detail. So for me, uh, not only am I feeling the breeze and all that kind of stuff. I mean, just I'm putting my hand right here on the bridge. Um, anybody, go ahead and try this. 
go to a frequently used bridge in your area and just put your hand on it and let yourself feel it. It hums, it shakes, it's kind of alive. It's a little scary. <laughs> is this thing gonna fall down? I like it because it's a reminder that the world is more alive than I think. And the problem often isn't that the world is dead. The, the problem might be inside of myself, so it's just kind of a good reminder. Um, and I do that through the tactile. I do that through the sensory. Uh, I, this is the second time I'm, I, uh, I'm trying this video. The first time I had a bunch of cops and ambulances. <laughs> you wouldn't think that would be back, uh, part of a happy place visualization, but as a New Yorker, that kind of is for me. Um, you know, uh, what are you going to do about that? Anyway, so number one, specificity. Number two, sensory, tactile, to fill in those details. Number three, creativity. You don't have to make a carbon copy of your happy place. You start somewhere, you start with a principle that makes you happy and then you, you create off of it. Human beings need to be creative. Human beings need to engage our imaginations. Another thing that this channel is all about. So start where you are and branch it out, you know? Uh, maybe your happy place is playing games. So, you know, you don't have to imagine the same game group over and over again. Imagine you're playing with different people. Imagine playing with some famous board game celebrity or maybe you're playing in some fabulous location. Um, you know, branch out if you're at a beach. Uh, imagine, you know, turn the dials on and off, make it night, make it day, make it rain, make it sun, make it shine. Um, you know, I'm over here, sometimes, you know, I see like strollers coming by, sometimes I see like a jazz band running by. Uh, I play with it. Whatever helps me call up that emotion. And that's the fourth thing that I want to remember. I, I opened with it, so I'll close with it. Uh, this is not escapism. It's calling up emotion. And you're calling up positive emotion to deal with negative emotion. And so I try not try to resist the urge to say, okay, I'm just gonna use this to fly away. You want something that just calls up reassurance, uh, calls up comfort, calls up safety. I, I feel very safe here. Um, I, I just do. I mean, I know people are like, what do you, you feel safe on top of a bridge above a floor of water? This thing's been standing for 125 years. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> and it's the light of day, I'm not gonna, no one's hurting me. I feel very safe here call up those positive emotions with your visualization um, and you know see what happens uh, so uh, please in the comments below tell me about your happy place tell me about how you resonate with some of these points uh, tell me about where you go what you do your best practices uh, so that we can kind of uh, take this one tool in our shelf help kit and make it work as good as well as possible uh, all right so I this is Jason uh, I hope you enjoyed this shelf story. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Later, buddy.